Hello students, welcome to Meso study. So in the today's lecture, we will be talking about female reproductive system. So topic is female reproductive system. In the just previous session, we have already discussed about male reproductive system. All the structure, the ducts, canals, we have already discussed. There are certain glands pre present over there and each of these glands, they have their unique function. Similarly, when we talk about the female reproductive system, female reproductive system composed of ovaries. The first major organ is ovary. Ovary is paired structure which is present on both side of lower abdomen. What are these? Paired structure present on both the sides of both the sides of lower abdomen. When we see the exact dimension of this, the dimension are there are around 2 to 4 in sorry centimeter in length and around 1.5 centimeter in width. Right. Ovaries are those which uh, secrete certain hormones and they are also considered as a female, they produce first of all the female hormone produce female hormone along with the production of the female hormone they also produce egg, also produce egg which we call it as a ova, right. The whole structure that lies, first of all they are present on the opposite end, they are present on both the sides of uh, uh, your, uh, that lower abdomen area. In that lower abdomen area, they are connected to vagina as well as pelvic wall, connected to pelvic wall pelvic wall and uterus, they are connected to pelvic wall and uterus by ligaments. Certain ligaments are present and these ligaments, they attach these ovary at a particular position. Now when we see the internal structure, the outermost membrane, they have a stroma inside. Stroma. is present, stroma is present inside ovary, stroma is present inside ovary, right and they are lined by epithelium, lined by epithelium, lined by epithelium. The internal stroma is further divided into to region, outer cortex and inner medulla. Stroma has two regions, two regions, two regions present. In this we have is outer cortex and inner medulla. inner medulla. Now, we are discussing about female reproductive system. In the female reproductive system, first of all, I am discussing about ovary. Ovaries are what? These are paired structure which are present on both the side of lower abdomen. When we see the dimension, they are around 2 to 4 centimeter in length and 1.5 centimeter in width. They are almond shaped structure. Almond shaped structure. 
almond shape structure. Right? They produce hormone or female hormone. They also produce egg. Egg means ova. They are also called as a female gamete. Female gamete. In case of male, the male gamete, we have already studied that is production of sperm connected to pelvic wall and the uterus by ligaments. When we see the internal structure, the ovary, ovary wall which is present, the epithelium which is present, they enclose stroma inside and then the stroma has two regions. They have one outer cortex present, outer cortex region present and they also have an inner region present which is called as a medulla. In this, the eggs, the ova, they are produced. In the different stages of development, these ova are present. These eggs are released in a whole cycle, they have a proper cycle and that is called as a menstrual cycle. In that whole cycle, we will study about how these eggs are produced, what is a menstrual flow phase and why this happens, that we will study later on. So this was the first one which is called as a ovary. Now let us talk about a second which is called as tubes. tubes. Tubes, in this we will be talking about, you must have heard of fallopian tube. Fallopian tube. They are also called fallopian tube. In this tubes, that means we are talking about some accessory structures. Accessory structures. In this, we will be talking about tube, we have a uterus present, we have vagina present, uterus, vagina, fallopian tube, etc. When we see the internal structure of these tube, fallopian tubes, they are also called as oviduct, fallopian tube, also called as oviduct. called as oviduct. Right? When we see the whole structure of these fallopian tube, fallopian tube extend throughout the lower abdomen. In that lower abdomen, they are present on the both the side. On one side, they are attached to ovaries and that ovary is further connected to uterus wall. When we see the overall structure, the at the end structure they have is a infundibulum present. In that infundibulum present, in that infundibular region, there are centered finger-like projection present. And these finger-like projection they are called as a fimbrae. And these fimbrae they gain this uh, egg when the eggs form in, inside the ovaries. Right? So let's write about the different parts of fallopian tube. Part of fallopian tube part of fallopian tube near to ovary near to ovary this is called as infundibulum infundibulum now right and in this infundibulum region, one uh, hair like structure present, which is called as a fimbriae. Fimbriae are what? Hair like structure, hair like projection, hair like projection present at end of infundibulum. Present at end of in fundibulum present at end of infundibulum even when we see the internal structure they help in receiving egg receive egg from ovary receive egg from ovary Right. After that, one more region is present which is called as isthmus. Isthmus. Present 
in fallopian tube fallopian tube and fallopian tube is that tube in which fertilization happens this is the place where fertilization happen fertilization occur this is the place where fertilization occur called as a fallopian tube so in the fallopian tube which is also called as a ov duct the different regions are present starting from infundibulum they also has one more region called as isthmus some hair like projection present and these hair like projection are called as fimbriae right and after that in fund after that isthmus region there is a region starts which is called as a the uterus region present the uterus is a pear shaped structure when we see the exact dimension of this uh, fallopian tube that is around 12 to 14 cm 12 to 14 cm after that we have is a uterus present the uterus has certain lining present and these lining in this the innermost lining is called as a endometrium there is a cyclic formation and degradation of this endometrium lining which we call it as a menstrual cycle and later on we have is another region which is called as a vagina students note down this then we'll proceed further so students hope you have noted down about these ducts in the ducts we have discussed about this fallopian tube now let's draw the structure then we'll talk about the vagina and uterus now let's see the whole structure how it look like similarly on this side also this which i am drawing right now these are this is called as a fimbriae on that fimbriae region we can see that ovaries are attached let's see here the ovaries they are attached similarly on this side also these are ligaments right and we can see that this is called as a vagina vagina right this is a pear shaped structure present this pear shaped structure is called as a uterus now let's start labeling this is called as a this whole region is called as a fallopian tube fallopian tube fallopian tube this region is called as a cervical canal cervical canal present this is called as a ovary we have a pair of ovary present one on both the side similarly these are certain ligaments present which help in attachment 
of ovary to uterus as well as to pelvic wall. Now, this region, this pear shaped structure is called as a uterus. Uterus. Similarly, this region, a finger like projection you can see and they are called as a fimbriae. Fimbriae. Right. After that, in the fallopian tube, we have one region which is called as a isthmus. Isthmus region present. Right. And we can see the overall structure, this structure is called as a infundibulum. Infundibulum. In the uterus region, the different linings are present. linings are present. The innermost lining which is glandular, this is called as a endometrium. This innermost which is a glandular structure. Glandular and they are called as endometrium. Endo Matrium. Endometrium. Below endometrium, myometrium is present. So, this I am labeling it as myometrium. After that, uh, one more last layer is called as a perimetrium. Perimetrium. Perimetrium present. So, this is a structure of a female reproductive system. Female reproductive system, structure of female reproductive system. So, what we have learnt? We have learnt about, first of all, I have discussed about this ovary. The ovary is a somehow, you can say, a almond shaped structure and in that almond shaped structure, the outermost lining, they include a stroma present. In the stroma, the two regions, they are present. One is called as a cortex and medulla cortex and medulla region present. In this the process which is called as a oogenesis that is a formation of egg happens. Once the egg is formed they are cast up by these fimbriae present and these are the finger like projection. These egg or sorry this ovary is attached to fimbriae and these are attached to basically the pelvic wall and they are attached to uterus with the help of certain ligaments present. After this, this we have is a another tubal region present which is called as a fallopian tube and fallopian tube is a region of fertilization, very important question, fertilization. In this the fertilization happens, the sperm travels from the vagina, they come over here and this is the region from uh, where the fertilization happens. Once the fertilization happens, the zygote which is formed, they come over here and implantation happens in the uterus. When this implantation happens, this endometrium which is a glandular structure, they provide nourishment. That is why the whole cycle of the menstrual flow cycle that happens. When we see the inner a middle structure which is called as a myometrium. Myometrium is myo that means it is having a, some muscles and they are known for the presence of smooth muscles, smooth muscles, smooth muscles. So, they have a region first of all fallopian tube this infundibulum present then we have is a isthmus region. In between this region we can see that one ampulla region is present ampulla region is present. When we see the overall diameter, the diameter of infundibulum is less as compared to the ampulla region. 
So this is a whole structure. So after this fertilization, they again come back to this region and the fertilization happens. So this is a whole structure. This is called as a cervical canal. Cervical canal is that canal which connects the uterus to the vagina, which help in the passing of sperm. Right. So this is a whole structure. The three layers present, one is called as the innermost layer, which is called as the endometrium, which take parts in menstrual cycle. Menstrual cycle. By their repeat degradation and synthesis. Degradation and synthesis. Degradation and synthesis phase. Students note down this, then we will proceed further. So, students, hope you have noted down about this structure. Now, let us talk about the female external structure. Female reproductive tract external structure. In this, the different parts they are present. First of all, let us talk about the outermost. One is called as a mons pubis. Mons pubis. Mons pubis is that fleshy mass of cells. And these fleshy mass of cells, they are having hair cell present. Fleshy mass of tissue cover external genitalia genitalia having hairs having hairs this is called as a mons pubis after that we have region which is called as a labia majora labia majora labia majora after that we have is a labia minora region present Right? And this labia majora is present beneath, present beneath mons pubis, mons pubis and this region, this surrounds the opening of female reproductive tract, surround opening of female reproductive tract reproductive tract female reproductive tract right after that we have is a third which is called as a labia minora labia minora labia minora are what these are also paired structures under labia minora paired structure under labia minora after that one more region is present which is called as a hymen you must have heard of a hymen Hymen is a membranous covering which surrounds the reproductive uh, opening and the, this reproduct this particular membrane hymen this breaks during sports activities. So they are mem this is called as a membrane that surrounds opening of vagina. Opening of vagina. And this breaks during vigorous exercises and this breaks during the sports activities. After that, we have is a last region which is called as a clitoris. Clitoris. Clitoris is a tiny finger-like structure. Tiny finger structure which lie at junction of lie at junction of two labia minora labia minora two labia minora right 
Now let us see. So, we are doing the external structure. In that external structure, first of all, we have is a fleshy region which is called as a mons pubis, a fleshy mass of the cell which is covered by the hair cell. After that, we have a region which is called as a labia majora which is present beneath the mons pubis which surrounds the opening of female reproductive tract. Labia minora is a paired structure under labia minora, sorry, this is under labia majora. M A J O R A. After that, the hymen region present, which is a membranous structure which covers the opening of vagina. Clitoris is a tiny finger like structure lie at the junction of two labia minora. Now, let us talk about the how this structure, the overall structure look like. Let us see. This is an structure. After that, one more region is present like this. And this which I am drawing right now, this is called as a clitoris. This is a clitoris. Now, here which I have drawn this in yellow color, this is a labia majora. Labia majora. After that, we have region which is present called as a labia minora. Labia minora present. Now, let us talk about this is called as a uterus. Uterus present and this is called as a cervix. Then we know the next region is vagina. This vagina is present like this. And now, this, what, this is what? This is a urinary bladder. This is a urinary bladder and this is a urethra present. This is called as a urethra, urethra present, right. So, this is how the different uh, structure of external uh, female reproductive tract is located. First, we have the mons pubis, labia majora, uh, majora, minora, hymen and the clitoris. So, hope the overall structure is clear to you. This is how the two different openings they are present. One is that from the kidney that contains a urine which is stored in the urinary bladder which comes out from the urethra. And also in the second region, we know that the uterus, cervix, cervix vagina, etc. are the present. Here the eggs are formed and here the, female, uh, the fallopian tube is that region in which the fertilization happens. So, hope the today's session is clear to you. We are done with the female reproductive system. We are left with the formation of egg that is called as a oogenesis that will continue in the next session. So, till then students revise this, we will meet in the next session.